At uh, Springs train station in South Africa's biggest city, Johannesburg, Simfiwe Dirti and her partner wait their turn to board. But they are not going anywhere. Instead, they are getting COVID-19 jabs inside a stationary train. The initiative is by South African state's logistics uh, firm, Transnet. It's meant to bring vaccines closer to people and save them from traveling long distances as the government ramps up its COVID-19 vaccination drive. From the spring station, the Transvaco train will be in the first week uh, of September and will move to rural Eastern Cape province. So bringing relief to poor communities who are often without basic health facilities, it will also be stationed there until November. For this moment for a very long time, especially um, we work in industries where, it, yeah, you need to be at work like all the time. So it was very crucial for, for me to get this vaccine. It's a good initiative because it's a schlep to go and drive and vaccinate. Queue first, vaccinate. It's, so once it's closer, look, as you can see, it was very quick here. I don't think I even spent 20 minutes here. So... There should be more of this. No, I feel like I can, I can just go anywhere around. So uh, that fear of uh, getting a, a, a virus now, it looks like it's getting away. We are basically bringing the vaccines to the people. So it cuts down on patients having to travel long distances, wait in long queues, and sometimes even be turned back because vaccines are maybe finished or they get to clinics or hospitals late. My personal... Um, skepticism around this vaccine, the safety, it's not safe. I can go to that particular vaccination site and don't get um, proper vaccine. I will get a vaccine that has lost its, its potent. It's like I'm being given placebo water for injection because it has lost its, its potent. Like the, um, the moving from one cooler box to the other, the fridge that, that they are storing, those uh, vaccines are not, are, not, are, not, are not proper. I've been uh, infected with COVID. Um, I think when it initially started last year, around about June, thank goodness I was asymptomatic, but I cannot imagine how it would have been had I been, um, you know, uh, having heavy symptoms and yeah. So I, I wasn't looking forward to the journey. And I, I interact a lot with people with my work um, at the moment. Uh, uh, like I've mentioned, and it, it gets quite challenging because you, you constantly need to be on guard. It's like people must just keep away. <laughs> so yeah, it, it makes working very challenging. I was scared in the first place, but I tell myself, no, Kaylin, go take your vaccine because why? it's for your own peaceful and to keep you strong and healthy. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.